This video reviews quite concisely ideas involved with corresponding and alternate angles. And we're going to find these two missing angles and along the way review those key ideas. Now then, to find angle X, observe how angle X is in the same position as angle 59. They're both just below the parallel lines and on the left. So therefore I know that X is the same as 59 because these two lines here are parallel. So X equals 59 degrees because it's corresponding. So if they're in the same position, they're called corresponding angles. There is one other word called alternate angles, and that's the angle which is on the other side of the line. So this one here, for example, would be also 59, because these two angles here are alternate, or these two angles are opposite. So this, this and this are all the same angle. Now then, to find Y requires an extra step, and there's lots and lots of options here. Now option one is to say, right, these two angles here are corresponding. So if I call that angle A, then A equals 112 degrees because it's corresponding. Now then, because A and Y are on a straight line and together at the same point, then to find Y, I would just do 180 degrees for the straight line and take away angle A, which is 112 degrees, which gives me 68. So angle A and 112 correspond, angle Y on a straight line with A, so therefore 180, take 112 is 68. That's one option. Other options would be find this angle here, that's opposite, and then say angle A is alternate to 112 and then find Y in a similar way. So there's lots and lots of ways of doing this, but in the end, as long as you're clear which angles correspond, or are or alternate, or on straight lines, then these sort of problems are quite basic and quite simple to solve.